This video demonstrates a simple C implementation of Forth that I have ported to the HP 50G using the HP GCC cross compiler. The reference C implementation uses simple standard I.O. calls, so it doesn't support input of all characters via the modifier keys. I have mapped some more critical characters to the arrow keys as shown. A cursor is also not shown. Up arrow is mapped to at or fetch. Down arrow is mapped to exclamation mark or store. Left arrow is mapped to colon for start of word definition. Right arrow is mapped to semicolon for end of word definition. The Z key is also not available as it is mapped to divide. Once forth is started, you can enter immediate calculations or create new words to be used again or from other new words. The standard fourth prompt is OK. I have added colon to indicate if there is anything on the stack, as used in fourth 41. As fourth is stack based, 5 plus 6 times 7 can be entered as shown. 5, 6, 7, multiply, plus. The result is left on the stack, which is not displayed by default, but can be displayed with the word dot, which I will include. To calculate the result, hit enter. The result is displayed, 47, followed by the OK prompt. Now the simple star and stars words from the book starting forth are shown. We use the arrow keys uh, as defined earlier for the start of word definition. Start, word name, Forty-two emit to display a star, and then the end of word definition. Hit enter. Stars use a star to produce multiple stars, depending on the number entered on the stack. So I'll enter that now. Start of word definition. Stars. And we want to do a loop. Calling star. And end the word definition. We can now call those words by entering their names. Star produces a single star, and if we enter a number followed by stars, we can see we get that number of stars displayed. Fourth definitions and words can be preloaded and compiled by placing them in a string on the stack before executing fourth. The string must end with a new line. This allows easy program editing using the native 50G string editor. If nothing needs to be loaded, just enter a number on the stack first. You could also use a wrapper program to retrieve a variable to the stack before executing forth. By is used to exit forth, so we'll exit. A string has been created with the word definition to some squares as shown. So the string shows the program to some squares, including a loop, multiplying uh, each value of the loop and then adding it to the final result. If we leave that on the stack and run forth, you see a message that the string is being loaded and that word will now be defined.
So we can test that with 5SQ, which gives 55. 20 SQ gives 2,870. The HP50G operating system is written in system RPL, which is largely based on force, as can be seen from the example word demonstrated above to sum squares, which is shown in fourth and system RPL. Although the reference C implementation was built for portability, it still performs well, as shown by the following N Queen's chess puzzle program, which is regularly used to benchmark calculators and pocket computers. N Queen's has already been loaded into a string and has been placed on the stack before running forth. You can see that the string has been loaded once we start forth. Now we can execute end queens. The execution takes approximately two and a half seconds to solve for an 8x8 board. This is substantially faster than the 50G user RPL version at 22.6 seconds and then only slightly slower than native system RPL at 2.32 seconds. As noted earlier, as not all characters can be manually entered currently, some fourth commands are not available from the keyboard. However, they can be used by entering in the preload string. This version has been compiled using the default cell size of 16 bits, which is a short in C. Increasing this to 32 bits is also possible, but impacts memory size and management. Although I have done a fair bit of testing, there are probably still some bugs which may be in the original code due to the cross compilation or my modifications required to make it functional on the 50G. Please let me know your findings and feedback in the comments below. Depending on the interest and feedback, I may look at future improvements, including better keyboard support, additional built-in words, and further integration with the 50G capabilities. Please see the description for further information, including a link to download the standalone version of 4th for the HP 50G.